Hello and welcome to the Math Zone here at Dave Grove Primary School. Um, I'm Mr D and each month I'm going to be teaching a new maths game and this is the one for October. So it's called the Bean Game because you're going to use beans and it's exploring number bonds which is where you look at a number like 7 and you think of the different smaller numbers you would add together to make that number. So first we'll decide which number you want to explore. I'm going to go for the number six, so I've cancelled out six beans. Now these beans are green on one side and they're white on the other. Okay, so we're taking them in hand and give them a little shake, pop them on the table, and we're going to sort them into two coloured groups. So the green ones on one side and the white ones on the other. And I've got four greens and two whites, and four and two make six. So I'm going to give it a little shake. Out they come. This time they've fallen three white and three green, and of course three and three make six, and that you keep doing this, and you're finding all the different ways to make number six, a very good visual way of exploring numbers. Okay, I think we can slip in another quick bean game, so I'm going to use the same type of beans again, the only difference is they don't have any colour on them, but it's a second uh, number one game. So, choose a number you'd like to explore, I'm going to look for number seven, so I count out seven beans. And this game you need to play with a partner. So I would ask my partner to close their eyes while I sort the beans into two separate piles. And then whilst they're not looking, I'm going to cover up one pile of beans and then ask them to open their eyes. And they've got to guess how many beans are under my hand, okay? So we know there are seven in total. There are three that you can see here, but there are a number under my hand. So how many are there, okay? Well, the answer is four. Now, with this, you can see that there are two strategies that children could use. They could either use subtraction, thinking, well, I know there's seven in total, and there's three that I can see, so that uh, seven take away three would make four. But they could also use addition, because they could say to themselves, well, I can see three beans there, so what do I have to add to three to make seven? Or I could count from three to seven to get four. Okay, so that would be my turn, and then they would then have their turn. So they might sort the beans into two different piles, cover up one, I'd open up my eyes, I'd see there's one there, and I think to myself, right, there's seven in total, there's one there, so I'd probably go for subtraction there. It's a good chance to talk about whether it's best to use subtraction or addition when you're trying to work out the secret number of beans under a hand, but I think because there's one now, I'm going to take it away from seven. Seven take away one will give me six. So a very good visual number bond game in which you've got plenty of scope for talking about different methods for finding the answer. So I hope you enjoy and uh, see you next month.